Learn with Eddie. Hi, Professor Eddie. Today we're back with your lab partners. But this time we're going to do something slightly different. As you know, we read the ideas you leave for us in the comments. And some of you wanted to learn how to build a very special toy. A robot made out of recycled materials. So pay attention, because it's time to get down to rock. <laughs> and don't forget to leave your ideas for new experiments or handicrafts in the comments. <laughs> Come on, let's go over everything we need, Eddie. As usual, we need scissors, glue and paint. Let's reuse this big cardboard box, which will be the robot's torso. <laughs> and a smaller one for the head. And we'll use toilet paper cardboard walls for its legs and arms. It's all easy to get. And lastly, we'll need a few small plastic bottles, so that we can use the base and the caps. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of things, I know, but it's easy, you'll see. Like I said, this big box will be the robot's torso. So let's glue the head, arms and legs to it. We use a little bit of glue, not too much. And now we glue it all together carefully. This will be the head. Its size will depend on the size of the torso, which needs to be bigger so that the arms and legs don't look out of place. Remember to wait a little while after gluing the pieces, to make sure the glue is dry and everything stays in place. Now we have to glue the robot's hands and feet. Remember those plastic bottles we got? We cut off the bases with a pair of scissors and glued them to the ends. And the robot's body is finished! Do you like the result? What is it, Eddie? What did we forget? Oh, yes, I know we have to give it a face. That's what the caps are for. So that we can use them as eyes and ears. We add a bit of glue and glue them here and here. And now we make a mouth out of a piece of cardboard. Our robot has a face now, but it's still missing something. Uh -huh. It also needs an antenna so as to receive radio waves. Oh. We'll use these pipe cleaners. They're little brushes often used for handicrafts. Uh -huh. We're almost done, Eddie. But I've left the best part for you. Uh -huh. Painting it! Uh -huh. Do you have any ideas? <laughs> Wow! You're an amazing artist, Eddie! It's turned out great! It almost looks real! <laughs> Come on, I'll buy you a milkshake to celebrate! Hi, Eddie! I see you're recycling rubbish! Good job, Eddie! Recycling helps save the planet and keep the forests and seas clean! But did you know that you can also get new toys by recycling? With the right materials and a little bit of patience, we can build a car, a frisbee, a rocket, or even a toy house! <laughs> okay, okay, let's start with a car for now! You see, it's very easy and it's going to look amazing! First, we have to get the pieces. The base of the car will be a small water container. Let's see if you have any that will do. This one will do just fine. And since it has a handle, the jean will look even cooler. Let's see. And what we could use as wheels? Can you think of anything, Eddie? That's a great idea, Eddie! Bottle caps will make perfect wheels! Remember that they all have to be the same size, 
so that the car moves smoothly. And finally, we need two sticks that work as a wheel axis. We could use chopsticks or a brochette or even round ice cream sticks. Great! Now we just need some art and crafts material. Scissors, glue <laughs> and paint. And what about you guys? Can you think of any other toys we could make out of recycled containers or packages? You can tell us in the comments. <laughs> First, we grab the water container and cut out a hole for the driver. This way you can put favorite toys inside. Well done, Eddie. It's mm -hmm. perfect. Now we have to cut out four small holes, two on each side, where we can put the chopsticks for the wheels. That's it. Remember, they have to be just big enough for the sticks and the same level. Let's check and see how it looks. We put the sticks in the holes and... Perfect! The wheels go on each of the ends, so we'll glue them there. That's it! Be careful not to get any on your hands. Remember to wait a little bit for the glue to dry. And that's it! <laughs> Making out our own toy car, it's that simple. And now we can customize it however we like with paint. <laughs> I think Eddie already knows what kind of car he wants. What do you think that is? That's cool, it's a racing car. I'm sure it will be the fastest car in the whole park. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs>